Uh, my name is Paul Greaves. I work for um, Virgin Media O2, previously O2. The uh, two companies have merged together this year. And um, we've been using MariaDB SkySQL for a few years now, and MariaDB for many, many years. Um, my current position at the minute is the uh, head of automation and orchestration for the IT infrastructure. And I'm also responsible for O2 Wi-Fi as a service as well. Um, which is the main business unit in in or two or Virgin Media or two that has used MariaDB for some time, and I'll give you a little bit of a story um, as to what O2 Wi-Fi is and why we chose to move into um, Sky SQL. So O2 Wi-Fi launched in 2010, so it's been it's been around for a good uh, 11 years now, and it was the first uh, Wi-Fi service to offer free Wi-Fi to any user from anywhere in the world who visited a venue within the UK and Northern Ireland. Some of our customers are the likes of McDonald's, um, Manchester City Football Club, Sainsbury's, um, Tesco Bank. So there's quite large venues, uh, lots of retails, lots of pubs, uh, shopping centers, and so on. So our footprint is, is quite big. Um, we, we began with uh, MySQL uh, back in the days. Um, I remember it very well. And within uh, three years, the platform had, had grown so much. We were um, expanding our live data centers to cope with the amount of load and traffic that we were getting. So we, we've, we've grown um, within four years, I think it was, to 30 million end users. Um, consuming the service again totally free of charge so it's not just our two customers it's anyone from anywhere in the world um and that fair we were faced with many challenges as, as we were growing uh, due to the sheer demand um, and take up from the market that we uh, we experienced um and the mysql MariaDB platform is uh, and it still is central to the entire infrastructure um, it's what we de depend on, rely on, and it, it, it basically runs um, all of our transactions for um, the network, the customer base, internal operations, you name it. It, it, it has a function um, serving, I think we have around about 14 different databases serving um, multiple options around customer authentication to venue deployments, uh, to reporting and analytics and so on. So it's a, it, it has a good suite of, of use cases. Um, the next slide I'll go into is the problems we had um, with on-premise. So we had a number of, um, of things to consider. Now, if you refer, whether your memory is very good, slide 52 in this pack shows you what you have to do if you're on-premise compared to what you do if you do a database as a service with MariaDB Sky SQL. I'm now in that world um, and my stress levels have, uh, have significantly dropped. So we were updating things all the time, software patching, maintenance windows, we added risk to service, and we had to do it all ourselves with with our own people um, and you know several FTEs or, or, or contractors. Um, in my opinion, the monitoring never seemed good enough. We didn't get the right visibility for what the platform was doing. Was it working correctly? Was the, were the transactions going through fast enough? Um, were, were, were there any latency issues? We didn't have that visibility. And one of the other main problems is our staff turnover. Um, from a contract point of view, the DBAs uh, at the time were contractors. And in the space of I think around about seven years, we went through five different DBAs. And each DBA wanted to do something different, wanted to make certain changes, and that had uh, consequences of its own. And then the addition to that, out of our support, so do we build up a, a team of people so we could do full 24 seven? Because this was a 24 seven operation. McDonald's don't stop trading, as uh, most of you will, uh, will be aware of. And a lot of our other venues were very, uh, pubs late night open into the early hours and so on. So our service was not a nine to five; it was twenty four seven, three hundred 
three, six, five days a year. I think Christmas Day was the only day where we we did have a rest and our traffic levels dropped significantly, which was a, a nice day for us all. But one one day in a year is is, is just not enough to uh, keep the stress levels in, in a controlled manner. So we uh, we started many many discussions with um, our Marie DB Sky School colleagues, um, and we decided to venture into Sky SQL. And we have footprint on premise from a, from a data center point of view. We have interconnects into uh, GCP, and we have the private connection between our VPC in Google and theirs. So the latency is actually a lot less than what it was on premise to what it is now. I think our latency between our data centers was seven milliseconds at the time. Uh, north and south of, uh, of the UK, and now it's less, it's around about one, um, I think. So it, in terms of speed, it began, it began uh, to become a, a lot faster. Um, why MariaDB Sky SQL? And I guess everyone wants stability, um, and they want a consistent platform. They don't want to have to worry about it or keep thinking, what if, when is it going to happen, and so on. So... Uh, what do we look for? We, we, we want um, visibility, which was a key requirement, one of the main requirements that I wanted. I wanted to see what was happening. Um, and being, from being blind on a platform to seeing what, uh, what transactions were happening as soon as we migrated, um, we had a lot of engineers on from our team. We had engineers on from the US at the time based on our our change window being midnight till 6 a.m. Uh, on the night of the, the migration of all of the databases across. So we had full support around the clock. And what did we need from that? What, what, what was our platform doing? What was the load? What was the performance? Instantly, we got that visibility. Um, and what we did see uh, from our radius platform specifically, because that, that hits the database um, the most from an accounting and uh, an authentication point of view, the number of failed connections disappeared. We were having failed connections in our radius logs on premise for a long, long time, and we couldn't do enough tweaks to remove that. As soon as we migrated, and the radius connections from, I think we have about 70 different radius boxes across the network, all of them radius boxes came up connected to, to the MariaDB platform in SkySQL, and every single connection stayed up consistently. And what's what's even better, we saw the connections, we could see the transactions, we could see the latency in the monitoring dashboards that you get out of the box with this platform. So that was a, a really nice thing to look at at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning when the, when the uh, migration uh, finished, ready for people uh, to wake up within operations to see that no service impact had occurred. Obviously, a slight outage while we copied the data across, but... Um, yeah, we, it was uh, it was a good night and a very good success, and I, I can't thank uh, the uh, Marie DB uh, guys. Um, I don't know. I, it, it, it's, it's still it was still a, a night to remember. So uh, yeah, I was I was I was pretty happy with uh, with what was happening, and the other thing that I saw from moving from contractors who we had to manage, we had to recruit, we had to give them a time to train to manage our cluster. Again, we were across two data centers um, with, I think it was around about a 12 node cluster, um, fully replicated and so on. Um, we went from that to basically, I'm saying an army of people. I've, I've, I've talked to a lot of them. I've not talked to all of them, but it's nice that we can be able to speak to DBAs who know the platform so well. Um, that my confidence level is at an all-time sky high now. Sky SQL, sorry about the pun. Um, but yeah, 24-7 real-time support. I've used it, um, and if I wanted to do something or ask a question in the middle of the night now, I can, for whatever reason. If we're doing uh, moving stuff, moving applications, increasing transactions, or wanting users to be created or doing a, a, a backup of the database um, that is a, a peculiar time. So everything's backed up, as, as they've said on the previous slides. But if we wanted to do something 
at a specific point. We will work with the colleagues, uh, whoever's around at that time, and, and they have been more than happy to do that work for us. Um, the support platforms as well that you get with, with these, you can raise the level uh, of, of, of support requirement that you want. Um, you can tell them what, what, the, what the issue is and the reaction times and the SLAs that are in the contract that we have um, have never been breached. Uh, the chat platforms that we use is Slack that um, we've got connections with um, the, uh, the support people. Um, and in terms of our the, the size of our platform, we've always had fixed infrastructure. To add more to that comes at a significant cost, immediate cost. And if you want to scale down from on-premise, it's not a very easy thing to do because you're wasting money. So you try and sweat the sweat the assets. Now that we've got the visibility of what CPU memory transactions um, connections are doing, we can scale up and down based on the demand um, of of when things are happening within the network, and we can simply ask um, MariaDB to do that for us, or we can use the tools within the uh, within the platform to spin up new instances. Or, or make changes as and when we see fit. Um, we also uh, opted for the architectural support, the DBA uh, that comes with uh, the the package, and um, I think it's Kester that was uh, that was one that we worked with. So if any of you know Kester, top guy, uh, he helped us um, with everything that we were doing. Um, <laughs> I gave him a lot of pressure, and um, he he delivered with the support that he has behind him across the uh, the team and the the final thing i would i would like to uh, to to finish on on this particular subject is cost reduction so for many years we had an opex cost from hardware individual team members um the support that we we got MariaDB, some of MariaDB support as well um but the cost to run the service from a capex and an opex point of view, was massively reduced by moving everything that we did from on-premise into uh, Sky SQL, and that cost will continue on an ongoing basis. So that was part of the business case as to why it was worthwhile doing this. The platform just works. We we request um, clusters, and they are spun up instantly or based in, in uh, expect, expected time skills anyway um, and we can work to within our budgets and scale as we need to go so uh, yeah if there's anything or any questions that you would like to ask uh, me directly feel free um, about uh, any other reasons why I chose to move to Sky SQL but it was mainly the cost was the last thing that we looked at to be honest it was the performance the visibility and the support that we got from this. And also, I'm very interested in slices as well, based on what I've just heard, because um, a lot of our databases uh, are quite hungry in certain in certain ways, um, and certain tables aren't as, as busy as others. So I'd be interested to see if we could utilize that uh, going forward. So I'll be talking to uh, to our account manager to see what, uh, what we can do with that. Um, I think that's me. I think I've, I've said what I needed to say. And uh, yeah, thank you all for your, for your time. Um, back over to Jürgen. Thank you, Paul. That, that was excellent. And if you don't mind, I would just like to pass over one question we received to you. Yeah. So the question is, Clearly, you could have just used MySQL on Amazon RDS as a solution. What made you initially look at and choose finally to run your environment on Sky SQL? Well, that's uh, I, hopefully I've tried to answer that within within the uh, the, the the packs, but um, the performance and I, I, there's quite a lot of reasons to be honest. Um, the the amount of issues we had, we had a number of outages that lasted for several hours with doing the work on-prem um, and DBAs making changes that went wrong, the clusters, the nodes, the the, the ability of, of technical people that we can get hold of. It's quite difficult people to recruit DBAs. Um, 
you've got to put a lot of trust in them because they can uh, they can I guess they could do a lot of harm to your business by making mistakes. So cost was the last reason. Performance and stability was the main reason. Um, but overall, I think what we got with MariaDB Sky SQL was so much stability and performance enhancements that um, it, it's it's something that I, I would never look back on. And in the new world that I'm in now, um, I've still got the Wi-Fi bit, but um, the any databases that we would have, which are high transactional databases, there's no point as trying to recruit DBAs to support these. We would just hand the keys over to this team, this army of people, and know that we're going to get a top quality service.